family, it's Christy with Designs for a Diva, and in today's video, I thought I'd just do a little chit chat while I make my husband some breakfast. Um, it's Sunday morning at 8.33. It seems like the whole day has gone by because the time changed this morning, so it, it would have been 9.33. So... I don't know. I just I've been up um since about 6:45, which before the time changed was 7:45. And I've been, done a little cleaning in the kitchen, uh, clean from under the sinks. Uh, we had some ants that we had to spray for, and then I cleaned uh, the chemicals out of the cabinets and. Um, put all the cleaning supplies and paper products back up. Uh, you'll probably see that in a different video. Um, and now I'm cooking some breakfast. So, of course you know I, I recently had surgery, so um, I can't eat everything that my husband eats, but I try not to make him feel like left out or neglect him as far as making sure I can eat a good breakfast or, or dinner. I usually don't fix lunch unless he's really asked me to do him something specific, but he kind of fends for himself for lunch. Um, he works for himself uh, here at home for the time being. He is getting ready to go back to work in the workplace. So I won't have to worry so much about as many meals but for now, I'm enjoying him being here. And I try to cook for him as much as possible. I'm gonna saute these bell peppers just a little bit before I add him some, I'm gonna cook him uh, two hot meats in there with the bell peppers and let them slow cook. His stomach is really sensitive and he can't, um, his stomach is really sensitive and he can't really do, I feel like you're look, not looking at me. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. His stomach is really sensitive. He can't do a lot of grease. So I don't cook his food in a lot of like oil or butter and stuff like that like I may add a little oh that's the waffle iron I'm not ready for it yet I may add a little um butter to the pan or chicken broth to the pan is normally what I do but um I, I mainly use more water and things that are not really greasy because he has a sensitive stomach I'll show you what I'm this is the waffle mix or pancake mix. And we had a case of these individual packs and I love them because this pack will make two waffles which is enough for him. I, I don't eat any bread so I don't have to eat it but you just add a cup of water to this one pack and it'll make enough for two waffles um, for him. He prefers waffles over pancakes so that's what we do for that. So these hot links were in the freezer, so they may take a little while. But as you can see here, I'll take you over closer. Um, I just turned on the peppers and I'm gonna turn that down. I just wanted to get them going. because He's in the store getting me some butter. And um, I didn't want to start cooking too fast because I'm gonna need the butter. So we'll let that get the boiling and then let the water get to boiling and then I'll turn it down a little bit. I'm going to make me um, a scrambled egg and I'm going to add um, cheese. I'm going to fry his egg. I'm going to scramble my egg and put a little cheese. And I'm gonna boil me 
a hot dog. That's all I need is one hot dog and one scrambled egg. And I like the Nathan's hot dogs, beef hot dogs. I always get the skinless beef franks. And um, I like the bun one. And I, I break that down a little bit. And I, I always wrap it back up and put it in the freezer, y'all, because I never know when I'm gonna get the taste for something and I don't want it to go bad. So what I like about those is that you could always, um, I was just talking and talking and talking and you guys were um, not on. So I got me a hot dog in here. It's Nathan's Skinless Beef Franks. I got his sausage going and I'm gonna add a little chicken broth cause the water's going down. And again, these are frozen so they'll take a little bit to cook. But I like, I don't like, he does, his stomach can't handle the greasy stuff. So I use chicken broth and I'll turn that back up and get it boiling. I use chicken broth to saute the bell peppers. I started with water and once they started getting soft, I added a little chicken broth and I'm gonna cook those sausage down. You can see the, uh, the condensation cause it's frozen, but it'll be okay. So I'm gonna do a few more things around here. Let this battery charge a little bit cause I've been recording all morning and I'll come back and let you see what I'm doing. All right, so we'll go ahead and plug in the waffle iron and let that start getting hot. I'm also going to spray it while it's heating up. And then I'll bring you over here so you can see me mix up the batter. Go ahead and add the pancake mix. Again, this mixture. We'll make two. So we'll close that and let that do what it's going to do. Alright y'all, my battery died, and 
I finished my husband's breakfast off camera, but I've already inserted pictures of what that looks like. Now I'm trying to finish my breakfast. I just threw it in this egg pan to warm it up a little bit. And I'm trying to break it down in smaller pieces because I have to take my time and eat so my food doesn't get stuck. I had a horrible experience Friday night I had already eaten dinner and I wanted something sweet so I grabbed uh, an apple I peeled it and I got some peanut butter and my first bite got stuck and it was horrible it, it took forever for it to go down and normally it goes down but this time I had to make it come up and it was Horrible. So this is my breakfast. It's one egg with cheese and one Nathan's hot dog cut up in little pieces. So there you have it. I have finished my wifely duties this morning for breakfast. Now I'm going to tighten up the kitchen counter and load the dishwasher and eat my food. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support that you've given me. We are really close to a thousand subscribers this morning. We were at 960. I'm so grateful. Let me talk to y'all. I look horrible, but I wanna look you in your face. This morning we were at 960 subscribers. We are close to a thousand. A thousand subscribers means that I'm a real YouTuber. So I really appreciate you guys. I do have a giveaway coming soon. I haven't decided what that giveaway is going to be, but stay tuned because in the next week or so, I will post the thousand subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who've watched any of my videos, who um, have subscribed to my channel, who supported me along this journey. I know I've only been on YouTube for three or four months, but it's been really, really gratifying. I have, am a YouTuber at heart. I watch YouTube, I don't watch TV. Um, and so to be a part of the YouTube network and to have you guys become a part of my family is really, it's really, it's a wonderful feeling. So thank you, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if the, this is your first time watching, subscribe to the channel. I got great content on manufactured homes. I do a little home decor, shopping hauls, um, DIYs when I can. But my specialty is, is anything manufactured homes. So stay tuned if you want to continue seeing what I have to offer. Bye now.